What's up, my name is Techno, here for Troubleshoot, and welcome back to another video. This is part two of two, where I'll be talking about the fastest ways to level up your Steam account, and in the description down below, you'll find all of the free methods, although they are a lot slower. This video is mostly gonna focus on paid methods, but before you click off, it's always good to have a balance between free and paid methods for leveling up your Steam account, as the free ones are really, really limited. It's a way for Steam and Valve to make money for themselves, so of course it's going to cost something, but it won't be too expensive, especially if you know what you're doing. That's hopefully what this video will teach you here, a bunch of different methods for leveling up your Steam account, and of course, what exactly it means to level up your Steam account. Also, in the description down below, you'll find timestamps if you've already watched the previous video and you'd like to skip to different methods here. Basically, the majority of your account XP, and hence levels, will come from trading cards. These cards are turned into badges. But how exactly do we get trading cards? Well, there's a few free ways, but it's mostly a pay-to-win game. But even before that, why would we even want to level our account? Well, beyond a certain point, it's just bragging rights. But you do get some extra function. First, you get a larger friend level limit for each level you go up. Each level increases your limit by 5 up to a maximum of 2,000 from an initial limit of 250. On top of this, you get even more things for your profile, like different showcases, where you can put more info, showcase achievements, screenshots, reviews, artwork, guides, and items you want to trade, and much more. By default, I don't think you get any of these. You need to level your account first. If you're using cards and badges to level up your account, each complete set of cards you convert into a badge gives you XP and an increased badge level for whatever game or event you crafted a badge for. Most of these have limits of only 5 levels, but the events like the summer and winter sales usually don't have a cap to how high you can push the badge. As well as this, when you craft a badge, you get a random emoticon, a random profile background, and usually a random chance of getting a coupon for a random game. And speaking of free things, on top of this, the higher your level, the more likely you are to get randomly dropped card packs just simply by logging into Steam weekly. And with that explanation out of the way, how exactly do we level up our profile? The fastest way to level up your account, unfortunately, is spending money. Spending money in sales for sale badges, of course, is a good way to get XP because these scale infinitely high usually, and you can craft thousands of levels instead of just five or a few of these. They still give 100 XP per level, and this can be the best way of leveling your account, assuming you can find these cards for cheap. On Zon, you won't be finding sale cards for cheap, there are usually cheaper ways of getting cards instead. Not every Steam sale has a badge that you can get by spending money, but the more money you spend, the more cards you get, and of course you can level up your account that way. This isn't buying cards directly, instead you're getting other things that you can get some use out of, and you're getting cards on the side basically for free, but not really, you're having to spend money. Not only do you get sale cards when you're buying and spending money on Steam, but also you get sale card drops when you craft different badges. Every time you craft a badge, more than likely you'll get a sale card as well. This is usually how it goes, and it's definitely one of the most forgotten about ways. So if you're ever going to craft badges to level up, make sure you try and do it during a big Steam sale like the summer or winter sale, as odds are you'll get a lot of free card drops as well to craft the Steam sale badge, which once again can scale infinitely high. Then the most direct way of leveling up your account for money is by buying cards from the Steam community market. This is especially useful if you've idled the game and have a half-completed badge. Say this one here. I can click on it. Then I can scroll down and click a button to view all the remaining cards on the market. Then of course you can buy them cheap and level up your account as is, but it's not always the best idea to do this, especially for games that you don't already have some cards in. On top of this, some games are horrendously overpriced when it comes to cards. It's a good idea to look around Steam to find out what the average price for cards is in your country, so you know what you should be spending on the remaining cards or of course you can sell the incredibly overpriced cards for a niche game and buy twice as many cards for a different game. If you have the Steam DB plugin, you'll see this at the top of your badges page when you sign in in a browser, and it'll usually show you thousands of cards that you can get to level up your profile, but I don't think it completes half-completed badges here. On top of this, it's not exactly going for the cheapest cards, as far as I understand, it's more just at random. You can, of course, also use tools like steam.tools slash cards. It'll show you a huge list of practically all of the cards on Steam and allow you to sort by set price, card average, etc. Though these two methods are much more in-depth and can often be much more expensive if you don't know what you're doing. 
A quick note about trading cards is that foil cards are just fancier normal cards and they do absolutely nothing special for you. They just cost more usually and are pretty much worthless to level up with compared to normal cards. Then the absolute simplest method is by trading keys for badges with bots. This method is one of the quickest and often most efficient, assuming you find a bot with a good rate. You can buy tradable keys for games like TF2 or more rarely CSGO to trade with bots on Steam for thousands of cards. I say tradable keys specifically because if you buy keys from the in-game CSGO market, then you'll not be able to trade them with other people and of course the aforementioned bots. However, Team Fortress 2 keys don't have this issue as far as I understand, and any keys you trade with other players obviously won't have this limitation either, as you can trade with them. You can level up really quickly with this method. That's where this video's sponsor comes in. Thank you to FragZone for sponsoring this guide. You can find and add the FragZone bot using the link in the description down below and start chatting with it. You'll see the badge to key ratio at the top, usually in the username of these bots, so I'll message it here. To work with these bots, you can use very simple commands to interact with them. You can start with exclamation mark help to get some commands, and of course, see a guide on how to use the bot here. We can use exclamation mark commands for a list of commands. Inside of here, we can also see what kind of keys they support. CSGO keys, Team Fortress, Hydra, and gems over here to buy badges as well. This is one of the very few uses for gems if you happen to have any. On top of this, a feature few bots have, but this one does have, is simply typing in exclamation mark keys or exclamation mark key list to get a full list of supported keys. This one has this command and it makes it incredibly useful as you know exactly what you need to get. To level up our account using these, it's really simple. First of all, I'll need to head across to my account to see what level I'm currently working with. My account currently has 14 levels. And thanks to FragZone, once again for sponsoring this video, they provided me with a few keys to use with this bot. Heading back to the chat window, remembering our Steam level, which for me was 14, I can type in exclamation mark level, followed by a level I'd like to get to, so level 15, which is one level higher. It'll tell me how many sets I need and how much it'll cost me. So one CSGO key to buy 10 sets, this will give you a good idea of how much you'll need to spend in order to level up your account. If we use exclamation mark check, we can see how many badge sets the bot currently has and how many they're able to trade with you at this current point in time. So let's go ahead and use this bot. For CS keys, we can use exclamation mark buy followed by a number of keys that we'd like to use. Or for Team Fortress keys, we can use exclamation mark buy TF followed by how many keys we'd like to use. And this is where you may hit a snag. Unfortunately, all trading card bots will not accept your account if you don't have Steam Mobile Authenticator enabled and have already waited seven days. This is because they don't accept trades on hold. And when you have Steam Mobile Authenticator, you don't need to wait for trades at all. So I'll quickly enable this and skip forward seven days. If you're trying to use Team Fortress 2 keys and you're not able to get any more in your inventory, it may be full and you may need to fire up the game to buy a bag expansion. It's super simple, but could be a bit annoying, especially if you don't know what's going on. After waiting a week, I'm back here in my inventory. I have 13 TF2 keys that I'll be trading with the bot. So I'll head across to the bot's page. After adding it, I'll open up the message window with it. So all we need to do is run exclamation mark by TF followed by an amount of keys. And I'll spend all 11 of these TF2 keys by simply running by TF 11. The bot will take a minute to think, and after making sure you have the correct amount of keys, it'll send you a trade offer. This bot has enough cards for me to get many, many levels, and of course, this account being a relatively low level, there are tons of badges that I don't have at all. So I'm level 14 and I'm spending 11 keys with the frag zone level up bot here. All I need to do is click view trade offer, and a window should open up, and inside of the window at the bottom here, you'll see all of the sets that you're getting. I'm getting 88 sets, and each set can craft one badge. I'll simply click ready to trade, I'll then accept it, and if needed, I'll open up my Steam Mobile app and confirm it. If you're receiving tons of items, of course your inventory may experience some issues, you'll just need to wait for it to refresh, and checking your inventory again, you should see a ton of different cards, and of course you'll have fewer items in your inventory. Regardless, now we have a ton of badges that we can craft. We can head across to our profile and into the badges section where inside of here we can craft many badges. Of course, you won't have the multiple button or the craft on of each button like I do here. You'll just have thousands of badges to go through. Simply click on a badge to open it up and over here you can see I can craft five of each. 
Super simple, I see that recently Steam have added a craft 5x badge button over here that lets you craft all five badge levels at once, assuming you have all of the cards available. Once again, my profile is going from 14, I'll craft all five badges for this specific game over here, and when the animation is done, we'll see all we get from crafting five badger levels here. Of course, we get a few backgrounds, a few emoticons, and a few sale coupons down here. And we see what steam level we are at the very bottom if we've gone up at all. You can see going up past 15, I've got 10 slot level bonuses, so I can add more people on my friends list. Awesome. Getting back to the previous page. This is what yours will most likely look like. In the description down below, you'll find my Techno Steam Card Assistant, which will add this button here. We can craft one of each, which will craft us 17 badges in total. Or of course, we can click a specific game here to craft, say, five at a time. We just need to enter five up here and click OK. I'll be crafting one of each as we're making 17 badge levels at once. So one of each, it'll craft all of these one time, then two times, three times, four times and five times. Awesome. So crafting all of those badges, I'm now level 41, and it would have given me a ton of different bonuses. If I go across to my profile, for example, then edit profile, more than likely under the featured showcase section over here, you'll see that you have a few more of these. What we can do is click through these and pick something we'd like to showcase on our Steam account. For me, I'll showcase my badges, my rarest achievements, maybe some information in a custom info box, and there's a bunch of different things that we can choose from here. This is probably one of the main reasons that you'd want to upgrade your Steam account level, and of course it works really well to make things look a lot better. Assuming you have traded with the Frag Zone bot, in the description down below you'll find a link to a post, simply join the group, click the link, and leave a thank you on this post here, where you'll get a CD key to use within 48 hours. This will work for all key trades. It doesn't work for gem trades, unfortunately. So pretty much anything will do. I'll type thanks for the levels, post a comment, and when it's sent, in a short while, I should get a message from the bot. And there we go. Within a few minutes, the key came through. I'll simply copy this, and I'll activate it here. There we go. I've got a key to Endless Space Collection Retail. It'll pretty much be random for whatever you get, but you can play it, install it, do whatever. It's your game to do with as you please. But with that comes the end of this paid guide. There's not too many other methods that we can follow to get higher levels. It really comes down to buying cards, crafting badges, and leveling up our Steam account. And of course, picking the method that's best for you. If I were you, I'd recommend idling whatever games you have, and then buying a few more cards to finish off those badges. When you're done, you can use a bot or any of the other methods that I showed here to level up your Steam account even further to maximize what you can get for your money. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Techno, but here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.